This is the Beyond the Box Dumbbell Workout. Before you get into the workout, check out the warm up. Get ready by increasing your heart rate, increasing your body temperature, and you should start to sweat a little bit before you get into it. For today's workout, no dumbbells, ironically, in the dumbbell workout. This isn't necessarily the funnest workout, but definitely has a lot of advantages and a lot of benefits when doing it. We're looking at doing something hard, it's difficult, it's mentally challenging and physically challenging at the same time, but it is definitely doable. So working on pushing through hard things and getting to the end goal. Think of this as your mountain that you're going to climb. We are going to do every six minutes for 36 minutes, that'll be six sets for time of 100 burpees. So in every six, in six minutes, you will do 100 burpees or as many of those burpees as you can in six minutes. You get two minutes of rest per between each interval. If you are not able to get all 100 of those burpees done in that six minute time frame, then look at scaling down your number of reps. So if you can't get, if you end up at in, in between 90 and 100, drop it down to 90 so that you can get that, get those reps in or drop it down to 80. But depending on how that first round goes is going to tell you what you're able to maintain across the other five sets. So if you only end up getting 80, 80 reps in set number one, then that should be your focus to maintain consistency and maintain, get 80 reps every single time you complete an interval. And it'll go vice versa with any number that you maintain. Set your set the precedent with round number one, and then after that, do as keep it as consistent as possible. Let's look over the standard for the burpee. The burpee is a standing position, going down to the floor, chest and thighs, and make contact with the floor, and then you're coming back to a full stand. Typically, when we do the burpee, standing nice and tall, I'm going to bend over, place my hands on the floor drop my legs and chest down to the floor, making full contact. And then from here, I'm gonna press back up, jump my feet forward, and then I get to get a little bit of hop and a clap to get back to that nice tall standing position, showing full extension right here. There are gonna be a couple variations that we can do with a burpee. If you're having trouble getting down, if jumping back is difficult for you, then feel free to place your hands and step back down. You can jump forward, jump up, or with a step down, you can step up and a little bit of a hop and clap at the very top. Uh, we can look at doing a half burpee. So half burpees, if we need to scale, drive down, stay with, keep with your arms nice and straight, jump your feet forward, nice clap and, and jump and clap at the top, full, show that full extension. If jumping just isn't working out for you, don't feel free to just do a down up where you just go down and then stand back up. But sure you get that full extension, we're just not jumping at the top. So there's a couple ways that we can look at doing the burpee, but for the most part, we're working towards getting down to that bottom position, getting back up to the, the standing position as efficiently as you can, your heart rate is gonna go up. So take deep breaths, try and control your breathing and find a rhythm. If you're listening to music, find a rhythm in the beat that you can do your burpees to and try and hold to that rhythm. You're gonna find that once you get into a pattern, once you get into a rhythm, the burpees get easier, they start to flow. If you need to, take breaks, uh, break it into a couple different sets. So every 10 reps, take a th 10 to 20 second break. Um, every 20, every 30, whatever you need to do, or heck, if it needs to be five, or if you just need to just take a, brief, take a couple deep breaths after every burpee, and that's a rhythm, go for it. Do what works for you. And like I said earlier, round number one is going to tell you what you can maintain. So do round number one, do it as best as you can, and then whatever number you get, try and stay consistent to that number and try and match it or beat it every set after that. Get after it and have fun.